In this video, let's look at data transformation with the use query hook. If you have fetched data from an API before, I'm pretty sure you've run into the scenario of needing to transform data into a format that the front-end component can consume. The back-end folks have their own convention and the front-end might have a different convention. To help with such scenarios, React Query provides a select configuration option which we can specify on the use query hook. Let me show you how it works. In our API, you can see that the JSON server API returns an array of objects and we extract the hero name from the object. So we map over data and for each hero, we render the hero name. Now there is nothing wrong in doing this, but you could also transform your data to create an array of just the hero names. For data transformation, we specify an option or a configuration called select. Now select is a function which automatically receives the API data as an argument. Data in our case is basically the response. Let's map over the data array, extracting just the hero name. So const superhero names is equal to data dot data dot map. And for each hero, we return just hero dot name. Finally, we return that array. What this does is change the destructured data to an array of superhero names, which means we need to update our JSX. I'm going to comment out the current JSX we have and instead add data.map and for each hero name, we turn a div tag that renders hero name with the key hero name. Data here refers to the superhero names array. If we save the file and go back to the browser, refresh, our component still works as expected. Our data transformation is successful. Now when I say data transformation, it also includes data filtering. I have used the map method, but you could potentially use filter, for example, to select only few elements from the data returned. It is totally up to you. So select option to transform or select a part of the data returned by the query function. Comes in very handy, so please do keep this option in mind. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.